are resistant in nature. So this must come, it is not properly coming because it is there in the high level of people. Those who are technocrats, those who are technicians, those who are academicians, those who are research scholars, those who are uh, contractors, or those who are in the higher level, upper level of thinking, they are doing that. It must reach to the society by means of regional languages, trans, uh, that is translation, then also by means of your proper information center, like we are having TTD and other things, rail, railway network, somebody told about the net availability of sources, a cyber stage for discussion and a cyber information center must be made available. That must be made available to the rural and semi-rural areas also by distribution of pamphlets and by including this in education that must happen. And to identify this uh, particular earthquake symptoms even before the in the first stage, whenever there is the uh, that is mass imbalance starts and loosening of the framework structure they start. That is by unusual clouding, Varahamira has interpreted unusual clouds and behavioral changes in soil and water and infraspecial behavior observation within some animals now they have tested with catfish. Likewise with animals, worms, ants, lot of things are very much uh, they are capable of identifying the P wave, P wave, which we cannot so this type of uh, particular things they can be made and also the EMF that is the electromagnetic field will have a very conspicuous variation that must also be made. Now there are a lot of things that is a D meter micro satellite is available then the seismic electric signal source that is available and you know that in the year 1975 February China it predicted a very great earthquake by means of a traditional method February 4th of 1975. And from that region, 1 million people have been evacuated and safely it happened. It may fail in some exercises. It is not having fullest authenticity in all occasions, but it has worked out. So repetitive exercises on various trial and error basis with various expositions must be made for understanding and coming to the real conclusion. The second is the water problem, that is hydral. The Shastra says Bhoma is the earth caused disaster. And Varuna is that which is caused with water. And Vayavya is caused with wind. And all of this the thermal, it is agne, it is due to, we are having cold and heat wave. A sudden rise in temperature with high humidity, a sudden downfall in temperature resulting in hypothermia and hyperthermia. Suddenly it happens. Likewise, due to temperature, radiation, uh, overloading and shearing, the cold avalanches, it is happening in snow areas. Because of now a lot of people, they are inhabiting these uh, snow areas and there is skiing and lot of moving the, towards that area as a tourism spot and other things etc. So uh, the vulnerability has increased much in the snow areas also. So these things are temperature variations and in water, water there are two problems. It is a, what we call Atimrishti and Anavrishti. Even if it is not available, there is drought and famine. If it is more, it creates uh, floods. Then artificial floods and fountains in the form of drainage systems. Artificial floods are also created as a human contribution, adding value existing uh, floods. Then coastal erosion happens. So coastal erosion, flood and other uh, various other things are happening like drought and famine. So this flood is very much important. Now we are having flood is not a big problem except computation flood modeling recent inventions uh, they have come into the society. So there is a, a proper way of understanding these things. There are uh, various types of uh, floods also. There are coastal floods. They are different. Then catastrophic uh, floods are there. They are different floods are there, they are innumerably flood things are there. Now what we do is, we have to teach the people how to react in disaster. We must first implant courage. Second thing is uh, gadgets that are essential. Third thing is training. In prasikshana, in training, both the things are required. One is sadhya area, second is sadhana, so says the shastra. So he must be given the courage how to act. If the person is afraid by himself and finding a way, finding to run away, how we can serve the others. So courage implantation in the minds of people, in a selected people and training them with gadgets will make them how to save lives, how to manage, how to care for people, how to counsel the people as a post-trauma effect. Uh, there may be a lot of other depressions in the mind, how to deal out of this and also how to save himself. Because whenever a person is dealing with a problem, some circumstances, he will be having his problems. For example, in flood, there may be an electrical damage, there may be fire accident possibility. There may be biohazards. There may be any type of hazard to the person, those who are saving others also. So, how to save one's own self as well as deal with the process of effectively saving and counseling and upgrading the level of the services to the society, that is very much important. Then the second thing is drought. We only have contributed drought by means of uh, 
mismanagement of uh, the groundwater resources by means of uh, a compressor motor and other things which we are using, the groundwater table has been totally caused by water impounding, by soil salination, by deforestation process and by overloading or over drifting of the groundwater levels we have resulted we are now seeing the benefits of what we have done in the form of deforestation in the form of desertification and drought so what we have to do everybody knows government is giving that you have to recycle water then uh, transvestment in water then we have to do rainwater harvesting who does not know that everybody knows that they are doing they must be having a driving force the drain force comes only from Chaitanya, not from compulsion as a rule or not from teaching as a book. It will not, no book or no instruction or no regulation can create awareness in the society. Creation in aware, creation of awareness in the minds is a samskara. It is a samskara. It is an influence. It is an influence of emergency. It is an influence of necessity. It is the influence of altruism. It is the influence of self-driven mechanism. Innumerable instincts, they drive the person go for such inspiration. So it must be created only by those who are claiming to be spiritual. They must teach how the spiritual life is very much essential. Spiritual consideration is Atmavat Sarva Bhuteshu. Considering everything as divine or divine manifestation and organizing there are two things. Spiritual turbulence is also there. Spiritual thing does not mean that you have to sit uh, in a lonely place and close your eyes. That is at a different. That is an inner journey and inner pursuit. There is also a dynamic spiritualism in which we can manage clusters and we can totally encompass the whole community into all around peace and happiness. That is also a type of dynamic spiritualism or applied spiritualism that must be taught to the people. Then we are having lot of these uh, tornadoes and cyclones. Everything is known to uh, uh, all, all of this person. They do not need any explanation at all. Then second thing is disturbing the nature. The most sentimental or the most uh, that is a disastrous force of the disaster is if you touch the more sensitive and more sensitive areas of the earth, suddenly it will burst in some disaster. For example, the sensitive area of earth is, earth's inner surface is there. You are making minings, you are constructing dams, superstructures you are making by construction of dams and there are oil extractions and mineral ore extractions and chemical extractions are done from earth. Like industrialization is done. So whenever you do something by disturbing the natural structure of the earth, crossing a level, that is exploration is different from exploitation, you know that. So all the other places, wherever you want anything, there is a proper methodology of extraction and a proper method of uh, rebalancing the situation. So wherever you mine, you create a vacuum there. Wherever you make a uh, dam construction, there you add moss. So these imbalances, geo-imbalances and eco-imbalances, they create disasters, which are not considered by more people at all. See, due to of expansion or exploitation or enrichment of their own status of living, they do everything and after coming to suffering, they are researching in the same thesis by remodeling everything which is not possible because we have come here a very long way and to repatriate to our original life or to bring everything to settlement is not an easy job. It is a very great arduous risk. So these type of environmental disasters resulting in pollution, resulting in the global warming, global warming is worse than 100 wars. Global warming worse than 100 wars. When they take the real shape and raise their heads, we will realize that it is a wondrous disaster, calamitous disaster. So what we want to say is, the greatest disaster, which is the greatest disaster, the greatest disaster to the society is not realizing or not preparing for the disaster management. That is the greatest disaster. <laughs> Disasters are <coughs> unavoidable, they are mitigable, they are understandable, they are executable, let us but we have to create an all-round awareness. It is not a secular or partial awareness. All-round awareness in various members of the society we have to create. Likewise, a health hazard. There is a book known as a Death by Medicine. Most of the people are dying only by medicines. <laughs> really, it happens. Now there is pandemics. Pandemics. Pandemics deals with emerging new emerging diseases. New diseases are coming everywhere. It is, there is a competition between the pathogens and pathologies. Whenever a pathologist, he discovers a new thing, there is a competitive mechanism that is there in the global inbuilt consciousness of all species. They develop something. Now they are studying that. What is antibiotic resistance in pathogens? They don't uh, respond at all. Huh? Now there is recently methicillin resistant. Methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureum. Now recently they have identified methicillin is an antibiotic. Gradually it has developed a resistance against its own antibiotic. So antibiotic resistance. Super bugs in pathology. 
So these pathogens, they also competitively rise. So 